Hi, this is Omar. And this is Damien, and we're Top 5 E-Bikes. And today, this video is the Top 5, actually 6, E-Bikes between $1,000 and $1,200. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy uh, E-Bike content, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're about to talk about uh, six really cool e-bikes, so if you have one of those e-bikes, feel free to drop a comment and uh, let us know you, you appreciate. So part of the reason why we're doing this video is we've ridden over 50 e-bikes to date, and we thought it was a good idea to put out a series on top five of different price points and then also different categories of e-bikes. And we also put out, we, we just published a guide on buying your first e-bike, so check that out on our website. We'll put it in the description. So if you're yep. buying your first e-bike, you can also check out that article that we wrote in addition to these series of videos and reviews that we've put out. Did want to mention that this is not a ranked list, so it's just a list of all of the bikes that we like in this category. Right. And the first bike we want to talk about today is the Rad Mission uh, by Rad Power Bikes. So the great thing about the Rad Mission is you're getting a bike by Rad Power Bikes, one of the biggest and most well-established e-bike companies around, right? They're very well-funded. They've got a really strong supply chain. Um, it's very easy to, to, to get their bikes there. They don't seem to have any issues keeping bikes in stock. Um, so that's very important, right? Other thing that's great about that company, they've got really excellent customer support. So, you know, if you have an issue with the bike, if you need to um, you know, contact them about the warranty or, or something like that. They, they have, uh, if you have an issue with your bike, if you need to contact customer support, you know, they have the resources uh, to answer your questions uh, as quickly as possible. Um, other thing I really liked about that bike, it comes in two frame options, right? It's got the step through as well. Um, it comes in a couple really cool colors. Um, it's a very straightforward bike, um, but it has, you know, pretty good components for the price point. So I think, you know, we strongly recommend uh, the Rad Mission if you're looking for a bike under 1200 bucks. So the next one on our list is the Ride One Up Core 5. This one we haven't reviewed, but it's actually on our list. This is one that we'd love to get our hands on and review it and ride it. It's $1,045. It's actually on sale right now. It has a 750 watt sustained motor. So a pretty good size motor, especially in this price point, because most of these are 500 or even smaller than 500 watts. Um, it comes in two different frame sizes, which is nice, three colors. So again, having frame options and frame colors is not a given in this price point. So it's kind of nice that you have those, those two different options. Um, and then it comes with some extras, like it has a kickstand, and that's not always a given in this price point. A lot of these e-bikes that, that are around a thousand, um, there's quite a few that actually don't come with kickstands. And the thing that I really like about this e-bike is that it's made by Ride One Up. Because we've had such a great experience with yeah. the three bikes that we've Definitely. owned of theirs. And so we really have, I, I believe, like, I have a lot of trust that when I'm going to get an e-bike from Ride One Up, yeah. that the quality is going to be really good for in that price point. Yeah. And that there's going to be a ton of value for, you know, whatever e-bike we get from them. And just to close it out, the last thing about the Core 5 is that I can't wait to actually ride this e-bike. Yeah, me too. Okay, so the next e-bike on our list is... The Electric XP 2.0. So Electric XP 2.0, we've reviewed, we have a bunch of videos out or a few videos out on this e-bike. It's $999 currently. This is the second iteration of this super popular three inch foldable fat tire e-bike. Uh, all around, you know, favorite of people. And I think part of the reason why is because you're able to ride on different types of terrain. So you could take it on a trail, you could take it on a paved road. It has a front suspension, which most of these e-bikes in this price range do yeah, not have definitely not. a front suspension. But, I mean, I would say that this is pound for pound probably the best e-bike just because of the, the versatility of this type of e-bike. And it's all under $1,000. In addition to that, it's already, it comes equipped with a rack, it comes with fenders. Yeah. It's like... It's straight, pretty loaded for, straight for, out for a $1,000 box, bike. For $1,000 yeah. you get all these, you know, all these extras that come with it. It was a fun bike to ride. I rode that bike a lot. We both enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, we, we definitely highly recommend the Electric XP. Uh, the other bike I want to talk about is one of my personal favorites. We did a bunch of videos on the Ride One Up Roadster. Again, we're talking about Ride One Up. It's a recurring theme. We really enjoy riding their bikes. Um, we'll probably try to review every Ride One Up bike that we can get our hands on. Um, that was one of our first reviews. Uh, what's so great about that bike is just the simplicity of a single speed motor. Um, the motor is not super powerful, but it's powerful enough because 
of how light the bike is, right? And that's that was one of my favorite things about it as well. It's just so portable, it's so easy to just throw in your car, put on the rack, it only weighs, I believe, 30, 33 pounds, which is basically the lightest e-bike we've reviewed. Um, so the look and feel of that bike I thought was really great. I thought the, the paint job, those deep wheel wells that you get, um, it's a really striking bike uh, that I feel when I ride around town, people really take notice of that e-bike. So um, last thing I wanna say about the Roadster, is it's a belt drive bike, right? You don't see too many belt drive bikes, and for the most part, belt drive bikes um, are much more expensive, right? There aren't too many in this price range at all. Um, belt drives are really fun to ride, and they're very low maintenance, right? So you're not gonna have a rusty chain getting your, your pants dirty, right? There, there's, there's very little you need to do to, to maintain that bike. So we love, we love the Roadster. Um, I think it was an easy call putting them on our top top five, top six list. <laughs> so the next one on our list is a Venton Solterra. This one is $1,100 for the single speed, $1,200 for the seven speed option. This is actually one of Venton's newest e-bikes. So they just added it to the lineup not too long ago. Um, kind of a nice, nice looking e-bike. We haven't ridden this one and we hope that in the here shortly we can ride and, and review this one. But um, you know, it comes with a lot of the features that you see in some of the newer event and e-bikes. Like you yeah. see this with the Venture, you see this with the, the next gen Pace, the Pace 500, 500 and the yep. 350 in that you have, for example, the backlit screen that comes integrated with an app. So out of all these bikes, this is the only one that actually comes with, um, that's integrated with an app, which is I think pretty cool. It's also a lighter e-bike, so it's more of a city e-bike. Um, it's something that you could easily carry up your stairs. Not as light as the Roadster or the Propella. Yeah. Um, but it's still 41 pounds, so it's pretty light for an e-bike. And still under $1,200, it's made by Aventon. So for example, when we talk about Aventon, although we haven't tested that e-bike, when I go on their website, I actually trust the range because it's Aventon and they've yeah. done a really good job and you, you trust the numbers that they put out. So a lot of good things about this e-bike, especially if you're looking for a city type bike. So now we're at the, at the end of our list. Uh, as you can see, we have the Propella ST single speed right here this bike right now goes for 1199 um, they also have a seven speed option um, i've already put 300 miles on this bike um, i haven't even let omar really ride <laughs> i've ridden it a couple times, <laughs> ridden a couple fun, times. but yeah I, I i really enjoy this bike i, I really um feel like I, I have a lot of uh experience and knowledge on the the roadster single speed you know the kind of th this similar profile bike that's made to be a little bit more nimble it's made to be um you know lighter easier to carry around these are bikes that are going to appeal to like city dwellers right because you can take them upstairs really easily they fit in apartments you can put them on regular bike hooks the thing that's really cool about this bike aside from like the blue kind of these iconic uh tires wheels that they come with is it has a 250 watt buffang motor um and buffang is one of the best quality motors uh, you can get, especially in this price range, right? You don't usually see Bafang motors. But maybe my favorite thing about this bike is, um, you know, because it has a small battery, right? Small, small bikes like this, they're, they're not meant to have large batteries, right? Because you're trying to keep the weight uh, low. But when the battery is, is close to drained, I feel like I'm still getting the pedal assist um, right down to the last drop of battery, right? So you're still getting that help going up hills. Um, so, which isn't the norm with most e bikes. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't matter the, the price range. <laughs> oh, I, I, I've ridden the, uh, the Scrambler, and when it gets to about 10 miles left, you're, it drops. You feel it. You feel it. You, you it's like it's, it's almost like the motor's not even like there yeah. anymore. So this is not the case with uh, the Propella. Um, so yeah, it's a great looking bike. It's very easy. And uh, like I said, it's a perfect uh, yeah. city bike. So there you have it, folks. This is our top five, I mean six. Top six. List of e-bikes between $1,000 and $1,200. Let us know which one is your favorite out of this list. And also let us know if there's others that you think that we should have had in this list rather than the six that we have. Yeah. Let us know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for watching. 